glasses for this. Hey, it's Brett with Poor Man's News. I'm cruising down the road with my buddy Sam, getting ready to go over to the range. Here's a uh, couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Number one uh, was that Breitbart guy ended up dying yesterday. I guess he is like a some kind of conservative activist, or I, I don't know what, what he was, but I, I heard him uh, talk a few times. I didn't even really know the guy, uh, but I found it interesting that he died at age 43. And another interesting thing about it is last month, he said that he was going to release some information on Barack Obama that was going to be damaging to him. So is that just a convenience or a conspiracy theory or what? I don't know. But another thing I wanted to talk to you about was, uh, you know, when this uh, financial collapse comes here to America, there's a lot of people out there on uh, prescription drugs, uh, which uh, me and my buddy is just sitting here talking about. Now, the scary thing about it is 10% of America's population are on uh, antidepressants or uh, any whatever kind of pills you call those. But the thing is, I was reading some information on that about antidepressants and th those type of pills. And a person is not supposed to quit those immediately. Well, if we have a collapse and all of a sudden, or let's say even an EMP pulse that shuts down the power grid and uh, people can't get gasoline or uh, can't can't get their uh, their drugs that they've been using the prescriptions, then they're going to lose it. Uh, I, I don't know what the exact um, you know side effects are from it, but uh, I'm sure it uh, wouldn't be nice. So. Not only uh, will, will we have uh, a bad situation because of people not being able to get food, but we got these people on these, uh, I don't know what you, you call them, psychotropic drugs or whatever, that's going to be having withdrawals. So, I mean, I, I expect things to get pretty bad. So, if, if you're taking any kind of antidepressants or anything, try to get with uh, your doctor or do some research to find out a way to get off of it. Now there's other prescription medications that you can't get off of. Let's say someone's diabetic and they need their insulin. You know, if there's any possible way, please try to stock up on that stuff. Anyway, uh, my my friend Deb out in Illinois, who I made the video for this last week about the New World Order in the uh, the sociology book, she is going to take that video into her classroom to her high school students to see what their reactions are about it. I'm, I'm real interested in, she, uh, interested in seeing what they have to say and uh, she said she's going to video it. Hopefully she does. If she does, I'll make sure and post it on here. But uh, anyway, heading over to the uh, gun range now and I'll talk to you guys later.